Hello and welcome to a new video about my load cell, my scale. I want to enter now in our program. I have already opened the program from last time. It's already pretty old, I must realize, because today is the 3rd of January and this, I created this on the 13th of November. But all right, things take time. Huh? So I want to, to, to add stuff. I want to add stuff. Uh, so I'm adding here... Uh, Define a tari is eleven. Yeah. Then we define a battery, in, and this is an analog analog input zero. All right. Uh, what else do I want to? Do? I have to enter the pin mode, of course. Pin mode. Pin mode, Tarin is an input pull-up, Heinz scale, okay, I read <laughs> Heinz scale, doesn't really matter, uh, low tail begin, I will say LCD dot set cursor to column, the first line, or the second line actually, and we'll I will say print that we see those on the load scale. All right, this current load, this I will keep. Ah, I only I also want to check to check the battery. Not every time, but sometimes. Yeah? So I will use also my my library with the timeout library. Where is this? Should be here. I'll write it by hand. Include timeout. Oh, look. Okay. <laughs> Good. So I will have a timeout update. Wait, and this should be every 250 milliseconds. I think this is what I'm, yeah, 250 milliseconds. And then I have a timeout update battery, and this maybe one second. Every second should be sufficient that we check the battery. Okay, then here I will not write it. This I can forget. Here I will not write. This I will say uh, update right from timed out, and in the end, as I will say, this I don't need. In the end, I will say update wait dot set now, and this should work already. And here I will say if update. Battery timed out. Uh, yeah. Int battery equals analog read battery in. And now, now we have to calculate a little bit. We have maximum five five volts. All right, five volt equals one thousand twenty three. And I want to have this at 2.5 volt, so 512 should be 100%. And at around 1 volt, I want to divide it by 5, multiply it by 2, 409, at 409 analog value. Because, you know, that the minimum voltage of, uh, of this 
uh, accumulator type is one volt. Then you should really recharge it. Yeah? And we start at 512. 512 would be half, so this would be 2.5 volts, so 1.25 volt each, each cell. And if we had 409 volt, we have one and one, two volts each. So I will simply use 512 and 412. 412 is very close to this. Uh, and then I simply have to reduce this by 412. And then I can already say that's percent. Haha, <laughs> this is good. LCD dot set cursor. I will write it simply. I don't care right now uh, about the layout. We'll do this afterwards or not. <laughs> okay. LCD dot print. Percent and now update battery set now. Good, so now we should already see the battery. Let's try this. Upload this in it. All right, battery 127 percent. All right. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> what is it if I turn it off? Okay, minus percent. Yeah, maybe I should limit this, but it seems to work. So it seems those batteries, ah, they are not, they are not currently not loaded. Probably that's the case. They are not, they're, you know, there is no drain, there's no power drain from the battery, not really. So they probably have a higher voltage. Yeah. If once I plug in the the controller to the to the battery, it will work probably better. However, I will limit this to one hundred. But equals maximum of but and zero. And but equals minimum of but and 100. Okay. Already, already limited. You see, it just ended, added these two lines. So, so now we should be limit. Oh, and now what is left? Uh, yeah, we should also measure our digital read. Right. So, if somebody is pressing the tar input, somebody is pressing the tar button, what should happen? Uh, I'll write the message out, tar, a lot of spaces afterwards that we don't see. Uh, then we made load cell. I hope there is something tar or something. Tar, tar, no delay, tar. Tar refers mm. tar. There's room for for improvement. Okay, and then we say update battery. Set now. The star probably takes a while, and we will. Right then, here, done. Done. Start done. And also this update weight, I will, I will also write this. Good. Upload. Battery 100%. Ah, okay, because I limit it. Even if I turn it off, 0%. Ha ha ha! This is good. Good. It's working. Now put this on. One dot whatever grams. Press the tar button. 
Tar? Antigrams? All right. All right. Let's remove this. Minus. Ha <laughs> ha! This is working. All right. This is working. The dark button is working now. Ah, yes. What we also can try is that now press the tab button. Done. All right. What we also can do is that that we will uh, now adjust this this spring down here. That we can. Oh, let's do this. Here is a spring. Yeah, and this spring will press from the bottom. Will press from the bottom. And so actually, once I screw this in here, we should see. Yes, minus. Minus whatever grams. Minus 900 whatever grams. But there's a drift. No. Right, maybe this is not properly working. Let's start this to see this better. Oh, you see it's getting more and more and more. What is happening here? I think you have to record this. I'm putting it out on the serial monitor. I think I'm going to record this over a certain amount of time. Oh, now it's zero again. Just moved it. All right. It's working. Okay, it's working. If this was the brightest idea that I put this 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 spring in, I'm not sure right now. Ah. We'll see. It's working. All right, I can power, I have battery voltage. Okay, now the next thing I will do, but you don't have to watch, I will explain it in the next video, is that I analyze this, this, this drift. All right, and so I will take a recording how over time, how this drift looks like. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.